Hello, and welcome to the Adventures of Waffles. This is episode 12, and after the chaos and general downright shenanigans of the previous episode, I think it's time to slow it down a little bit. Kind of go back to relaxing and just enjoying the flight a little bit, you know? <laughs> our turnips are not ready, so we're going to go to the swamp and see if we can find some more turnips. Did we miss some on our exploration? I think we probably did. So I try to change the portal right here to Swamp 1. Yeah, it's definitely still up. Did I change it to backup? Yes, I most certainly did. This portal is backup. I don't know what's going on there. I don't remember what was going on in my head, but yeah, back to Swamp 1 we go. Look at all those fish out there. Pretty cool. All right, let's go exploring. We've explored pretty much all of this swamp, but we need to reveal a couple more bits here and there, and I feel like we probably missed some turnips. But these certlings, actually, you know what? These certlings, <laughs> these certlings need to die, and I'm just having a rough time. For some reason, I just can't get a hit on them, and <laughs> I just, I have a really, really difficult time. I take all of the, the magic uh, flame balls to the face, and it's not great. <laughs> but it's okay. We're not taking that much damage because we are OP as far as certlings go. And it's definitely my issue, not the Frost Waffles issue. This weapon can more than handle it. Cold item versus flamey dudes. Yeah, of course. But hey, look at that. We've got our first Wraith. I have never seen one of these, uh, at least in this playthrough. And it's a... Uh it kind of hits. It kind of hits a little hard, but I'm poisoned. That little that jerk blob was in the way, but hey, we got some chain. We're good. And look at that. We found some turnip seeds. I had a feeling I missed some here somewhere, but suddenly from the distance, we hear an abomination and I'm not going to run. I'm bone massing and we're going to take this thing down. And I know this is definitely not the appropriate weapon to fight an abomination. They are pretty resistant to the frost waffle, but it's the best weapon that I have for this situation, even though I think, yeah, I do take out the ax and see if the ax can handle it. And I feel like it does do about the same, if not maybe a little more damage, but it's a slow weapon and I just don't really enjoy using it. So the Frost Waffle is what's going to be taking on this abomination. And it's a it's a great fight. I feel like I'm able to pretty effortlessly dodge all of its attacks. I've fought more than enough abominations in my playthroughs and I just I just feel like they are tough. They can be a little annoying, but they're not that bad once you understand their attacks and once you know how to be uh, frosty with them, I guess. <laughs> so the Frost Waffle is not doing great but you can see it's still doing some damage yeah, man it's not that much I probably should have just used the axe but we're okay that log almost killed me but we're still alive and we're still kicking and we're still slamming with the frost waffle and when I do get a good parry in there the frost waffle does a good amount of damage and I skip around a little bit because this just took a while and I didn't really take too many hits because the shield that I have is fully upgraded and it's more than capable of blocking this guy so when I have stamina I'm able to do some pretty good work to this guy look at that took a took a little uh, pineapple juice right there pretty good fight and this draugr thinks that it wants to join the party but no we're not doing that right now i just i keep getting hit but i'm not taking that much damage because the bone mass buff is still active and it is definitely op and i just i'm, I'm definitely more than capable of handling this fight without too much effort and the abomination is at a sliver of health so one more good parry bing and a golf swing takes it down. Fantastic first actual kill of an abomination. And I know I killed one previously, but this is the first time that I actually took the time to fight it. But we're back home. We're going to plant these turnip seeds as fast as possible. And yeah, they are all still good. And they're taking forever, forever to actually grow. But hey, we got a cold wind blowing from the mountains. And this is the first time I have ever seen this event. So I was unprepared. And I just figured it was going to be a nice breezy day with some snow falling from the mountains and it would all be okay. And I could just focus on apparently only fighting one Drake at a time. Come on, I figured they would throw three at me, but no, I mean, the Drake falls and I'm still taking damage. And I have no idea what's going on at this point. I'm pretty much low health. So I figure, oh, hey, look, I'm freezing. So I had no idea. I thought maybe I could warm myself by the fire, but no, we need to tackle the problem. The problem is the freezing. And so I take a frost resistance potion and this Drake is randomly distracted and it's not attacking me. I think it's attacking some pigs or something, but hey, it's okay. I don't, I don't need it attacking me. As long as I got a good clear shot at it, I can just slowly whittle away its health. And okay, well, <laughs> bro. 
<laughs> We're okay, it's attacking us now, just in time for us to harvest its resources right in front of me. Pretty nice. Another one over there, and it's attacking all the way over there. And yeah, I actually hit it from all that way. <laughs> Bruh. Come on, it's attacking far, so I go and I meet the threat head on, and just in time for it to die a horrible death. Ah, well, I mean, not yet. Okay, we got one more head in there. Come on, come on. All right, okay. <laughs> we definitely need a bow upgrade. We're still using a fine wood bow, I believe. I didn't make the huntsman bow because I think it's kind of expensive, but the draugr fang is on the list of to dos. The cold wind is gone, but I'm still, well, I'm still being attacked. There's still one left, and we're going to, I mean, through this, through this breeze, through this mist, we're going to try to kill it. And it's just, obviously, it's no problem, because drakes aren't that big of a deal. They're more of a nuisance than they are actual threats, especially when there's only one attacking you. And no problem. Come on. All right. Thank you for your trophy. Appreciate it. That will really help in the very, very near future. But I head back inside and I thought for sure, I, I kept hearing the sounds of another Drake. And what, what is what is going on? There's another Drake somewhere. I can't, I can't pinpoint the location, but Oh well, I couldn't find it, so I pop a Drake trophy up to, well, I mean, come on, it's gotta be here, I hear it somewhere. Where are you? Oh, okay, there you are, way in the distance. All right, all right, I can I can take you out, right? No? It just, it just disappeared, come on. <laughs> it did not pop back up, but yeah, it did just disappear. So I head back inside and I pop up the Drake trophy because in my head at least, I thought I would only need one to make the Drake helmet, but hey, it's okay. We're making the silver shield. That is going to be a fantastic and actually relatively cheap upgrade. That'll be really nice. I really do love the look of the silver shield and I think this is where it stays and it still stays more realistic. I really like the look, but we can pop our original banded shield right there. We're sticking with the blue theme, I guess. And now let's take a look at our new glorious shield. Oh yeah, I like it. I think this looks fantastic. Definitely a worthy shield for our mountains that we're going to be exploring. Hey, look at that transition. We're right into it. This is where we mined that silver and we do have another vein right here, but we're on a new mission to find a wolf trophy because I want the wolf cape. That's gonna be really handy. So I'm just gonna see if I can kill as many wolves as possible against my best judgment because wolves are dogs and dogs are friends. But hey, it's okay. We do what we have to do in this glorious game called Valheim or life, but I'm easily distracted. I also want the Fenris legs, so let's tackle a frost cave. Yeah, I just look into my own eyes because this is going to be dangerous. I have not tackled one of these with the appropriate gear, or I guess this is kind of inappropriate gear because I'm still using iron, but I have an at gear and I think I'm equipped and I think I'm ready to handle this. So let's take on an ulf. That one was just unaware, so that one doesn't count. <laughs> We've got some glass up here. That'll come in handy. I try to stab it like an idiot because that makes sense. Uh, but yeah, crystal battle axe and glass walls are unlocked. Couldn't grab that, <laughs> had to jump all the way. But, oh man, bats, okay. I think bats are definitely the most annoying mob in this game. I thought they were ticks, but my vote is on bats. And I got both of those wolves unaware, and that was great. But hey, we found some Fenris hair, unlocking the Fenris coat and the Fenris leggings. We don't need too much of this. I would like to fully upgrade our Fenris legs, but hey, Quick note, we found some Tetra, and I found a little pool right here. That's pretty lucky. Apparently, that's really rare. Marked it. It's going to be something for the future, but I'm not fishing just yet. We've got some more olves that need to go, and it's it's just easy for the act here. The Whirly Twirly is just one of the best methods against this. So I do head home right here, and I figure maybe I can make some fire-resistance meat, some barley wine. But I forgot that it was called barley wine, and you need barley to make it. I thought for sure that I had unlocked it. I most certainly have not. So I'm going to be pretty damn squishy when it comes to cultists. But now I figure it's a good time to make the Drake helmet. I have what I need, so I make the helmet. We've got an upgrade, and man, it looks fantastic. But we're back in it, and distracted waffles is always distracted. So I want to fight some wolves to find a wolf trophy so I can make the wolf cave. But these Drakes are just, they're always distracting. They're always in the way, and they're, again, just a big nuisance. Two wolves right here are a fantastic test of the new shield, and even though I take a hit, these guys are dispatched without effort. And of course, no trophy just yet. Nice little golf swing right there, another wolf is down, and no trophy. 
another one over here and I'm doing a doing a you know doing a stab doing a slash doing a doing a hammer hammer time and <laughs> no trophy another wolf look at that we're we're slaying we're slaying wolves and hey we got a trophy all right finally we have a wolf trophy trophy what, what am I, an idiot? Uh, yes, but it's a trophy. It gives us the wolf fur cape, and this is gonna be a game changer. We will no longer have to use blue adult juice to tackle the mountain areas. That'll be much better. This gives us resistance to frost, and we will no longer freeze our Valheim butts off. It'll be much better. And of course, we have the materials to upgrade it, and we look fantastic. This dead wolf head on my shoulder. I'm not a big fan of that, but hey, it looks okay. We're, we're making do with what we got. This is the game that we're playing. And now, look at that. We have a fully upgraded helmet as well. We have the materials, and that actually uses almost all of our last bits of silver. So now that we have a little bit more armor rating, we can handle some cultists, or so I think. So I continue on my mission to get some Fenris stuff. I want the Fenris leggings, and yeah, we gotta get these materials while we're at it, and let's let's just explore, and we can grab this, you know, the red jute on the wall right here is always good. Oh, yeah, and this one didn't really have anything. No cultists. It did have that uh, tetra, tetra farm, I guess you can call it, the little fishing area, so that'll be really nice in the future, but again, I haven't really done a whole lot of fishing in this game, but look at that. We're at day 80, and let's, uh, we went home, we slept, we did some inventory management. We're in a new cave, and this one has a massive amount of bats, and look at that. We found a cultist, and I'm trying to be as squirrely as possible. I'm trying to dodge and not get lit on fire, but as you can see mission not accomplished i am still on fire but it's okay i'm not taking that much damage i'm half health it's okay everything's fine I, uh, okay bone massing let's tackle this guy with the frost waffle i think this is going to be a better option but okay that guy's dead and let's see if he dropped anything good yeah all right nothing oh what what the very first cultist we encountered in the adventures of waffles drops the cultist trophy that's bullcrap. I don't know what's going on here because if you watched my To Catch a Cultist video where my friend and I found a whole bunch of frost caves and probably fought, I don't know, dozens and dozens of cultists, it took us probably 20 or so frost caves to actually find a cultist trophy. It took us forever. Oh, by the way, I'm almost dying right here, but I pop a juice and it actually, it saved my life. Nick of time, everything's okay. But yeah, it took us forever to find the cultist trophy and I find one on literally my first cultist. I mean, I'm not going to complain about that, but I'm also going to complain about that because what, what's going on? 10% drop rate is not accurate, but oh well. It's okay. We don't need the cultist trophy. I'm not going to make the Fenris hood, but oh well. It'll make a nice display in our glorious waffle home. But we will definitely need as much Fenris hair as possible, and I, I just want to be able to fully upgrade my legs. So I, I think one trip through this would be great, but these, these Fenris hairs right here, they need to be shot down, I guess. If you have a better way, let me know. Um, if you have the, the fireballs, that's great, but I don't have the fireballs just yet. So yeah, we can just knock these down. Oh, hey, look at that, another cultist. What are you doing? Just randomly stumbling up on me. Don't need to get ambushed while I'm trying to work. All right, golf swing takes you out pretty much. All right, you still have a little fight in you, but we're okay. Everything's fine. We can finish this little cave area, and yeah, these Fenris hairs that are kind of hanging down on these banners, I find it difficult to actually take them out. Um, and that one was easy, but sometimes they're just difficult to hit, but it's okay. If you have a better method, please let me know. These ones are easy though, no problems there. But yeah, I definitely need as much Fenris hair as I can get because I do want the legs to be fully upgraded because they're pretty much gonna be sticking with me for the rest of my time in this game. But we've got the stuff. We can make the Fenris legs, let's do that. And we're gonna upgrade them because indeed we did get all the stuff that we could possibly need for that. And oh yeah. Well, I mean, maybe we need a little bit more. No? Okay. We don't have enough wolf pelts, so level three will have to do for now. But let's put these new glorious pants on. All right, new pants. And with these new pants, it means I'm speedy. I am so fast. I just love that. And it obviously it doesn't add that much, but it does add just a little bit of speed versus full heavy armor. And it is 
nice. I'm a big fan. So let's put this cultist trophy up. That will be a fantastic addition. And if we do decide to make the Fenris hood, if I do want to go full Fennies, full Fenris, um, that will be a great option. We have the cultist trophy. We won't have to crazily spend hours and hours fighting cultists for that. But now we have a red jute rug and that looks fantastic. I really like that right there. But I want to utilize this space to the right of the, uh, the cooking station a little bit better. So I'm going to put all the food stuff right here in a nice little shelf uh, below that uh, area. And I think we need a montage. We need an inventory management montage. We need to move everything over and this will look fantastic over there. All the foodstuffs, all the potions, and that will be a good spot for them. And we have way too many rocks, so I put the rocks out there. And we're going to do some farming, but <laughs> those sped up segments, they've been missing for quite a while, so I just added that one right there. I think they're pretty satisfying still. Let's make some onion soup. That will be a fantastic addition because we have more than enough onions and now we have a bunch of turnips so we're going to seed all those and we have we have a little bit left over so we can make some stuff and of course we've got to replant our farm and we get rid of the raven throne to make room for the butcher's table i don't really know of a better place to put that without moving the left side uh, storage section over even a little bit more but i don't want to do that that's just too much work and wolf skewers we have we have the materials we might as well do that these are a fantastic weapon weapon no, that's a food item. Although I guess you could skewer something with them as well. Uh, fantastic choice, but hey, look at that. I am moving this because this is not moving it. I am upgrading it. I think we need reinforced chests because we have a lot of foodstuffs and I think this looks really good. It doesn't look as good. I need to figure out a way to do that. And speaking of not looking good, the spice rack on the inside there, I couldn't figure out a good, where to, good place to put that, but that does function well. It's probably temporary, but it works and we need those little angular bits right there. I think it looks good. Now look at that. We've got all the food organized in these sections right here, these little large boxes and over here as well. We've got kind of just building materials and you know, I'll probably update this a little bit eventually, but we've done some organization and I think it was necessary, but we'll, we'll definitely iterate on that eventually even more, but we are back in the mountains right now and we're going to move the portal and bring it up to that house that I've found before. I want to establish a nice little hut, a little mountain base kind of near motor, but not too close. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see where that ends up. But we found a stone golem and it's definitely time we really tackle one. But these guys are kind of tough. They kind of are, but they kind of aren't. I pop a bone mask because I don't like taking damage. And this is, <laughs> yeah, I take out the pickaxe because I know they are very weak to pickaxes, pickaxing, but it doesn't seem to do that much damage. And picks at pickaxes can't parry. They're not very fast. So I just, I need to learn the stone golems attacks. I just haven't fought that many in my in my original playthrough or even in this playthrough or anything else. I haven't fought too many stone golems. So this is definitely a, a learning educational fight. So I'm trying to slowly whittle it down, trying to slowly hit it. And it does recover pretty quickly from some of its attacks. Like the its left arm seems to be really quick to actually hit like that. And I, I need to learn to actually parry that properly. But this one right here, it winds up nicely and it gives me a time, a chance to actually Actually parry this one all right we're learning we're doing okay but it doesn't always get staggered so when it does get staggered obviously I can put a whole lot more damage into it but yeah that left arm is a little bit tough but we're still we're still doing some good damage to it even though the frost waffle is kind of not the most effective weapon against this but yeah I try to get a three hit in there but that left arm pops up there really fast and yeah it's not too bad I did pop a bone mass and I'm not taking that much damage so it's really just a matter of time before this stone golem is is taken out. And golf swing, I am missed again, but it's okay. Ah, all right, good dodge and one more hit. Nope, all right, come on. It just kind of walks away every once in a while, trying to, I don't know. It seems like it's walking away, but it's not walking away. But one more hit and the stone golem is down. Our first kill of an actual stone golem ourselves. And look at this. We have this nice little mountain cabin right here that I found earlier. And I think this is gonna be a nice little mountain base. Nothing nothing too fancy, but there's flat area around us and it's more than enough space for just a little mountain cabin. So I set up mountain one portal right here. It's close to motor and now we can head home. We have enough wolf pelts to upgrade our Fenris leggings now. We are at level four, that's fantastic. Look at that, 62 armor. 
absolutely fantastic. But I need to find some more silver. It's time. I take the boat and we're going to go on a silver mission because we need some more silver because I used all the silver already. <laughs> it's time to make some silver armor and especially the chest piece, but this this uh, this troll is still there. If you remember, he was there when I first took the boat through this area, but he's still there contemplating his existence into the sunrise. <laughs> but we made it without any sort of trouble whatsoever, even though the boat was kind of disheveled. I probably should have fixed that, but let's fix it right now. Well, I don't have a workbench, so I, I grabbed some wood. Like I, like I definitely should have brought some wood originally. So boat is fixed no longer half health and yeah let's uh, let's do the thing <laughs> jump cut to fighting another stone golem because these guys well this one's attacking something and it's attacking a tree what's what was it, what was it doing what was it doing all right well as you can see i've got the wish oh it's a wolf all right yeah <laughs> uh i've got the the wishbone going and it is pinging some silver in the area all right. Well, that wolf didn't have didn't stand much of a chance. <laughs> so forgive the annoyance of the wishbone going off, but hey, we're fighting a stone golem, and I skipped ahead a little bit because it was pretty much just a repeat of the previous battle. I, I learned its attacks, and I'm able to pretty effortlessly parry most of its attacks and get some good swipes in there. But right here, really close to the black forest where the boat is parked. I found a silver vein, and yeah, this is gonna be great. This little area right here, being so close to well, hey, come on, wolf, come on. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work here. I'm trying to work. Just, 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 just get out of here. Just, just get out. Of here. Come on, come on. <laughs> the silver vein being this close to the black forest, being this close to the boat, is gonna make it a lot easier to transport. I don't have to have it go all the way up and over the mountain. So this is this is much, much better. So I take the time to fully mine out this silver vein, as one does. Silver veins, like I said last time, they are much easier to mine out versus copper veins. They don't take nearly as much effort, and having branch off branches off of the silver veins kind of makes it more satisfying rather than just like a big old circular lump. <laughs> But that's it. We've we've mined it all out, and now we can do the thing. Let's just enjoy this together. Here we go. Oh, 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 oh. yeah, fantastic. <laughs> Always so great. And I skipped ahead. I put it all in this box right here. Look at all of this glorious silver from that one vein. Absolutely fantastic. So, how are we going to get it home? We're going to go home, we're going to grab what we need to grab after we kill this Grey Dwarf with our fists because it just... it needs to be done. It needs to be done. <laughs> we're going to take the cart and we're going to use the cart to go all the way down the mountain. Hopefully this works this time. I won't have to go up and over any little hills because we're, we're just right here. So we might as well transport it all in one go. So let's let's do this. I mean, I'm I'm carrying too much, but we can we can slowly make our way over to the cart. Will he? Of course, he's going to make it. We're not we're not even going to do this this time. It's really close. So we're going to pop all that we can into the cart, and we are going to carry one load so that the cart isn't completely heavy. I guess I don't know. It makes sense in my mind. It probably didn't matter, but it makes sense. But yeah, it's just downhill at this point. So why wouldn't this work? Why wouldn't this be perfectly fine? Let's, let's do this. <laughs> this is actually pretty fun. I've never done this before, and I really didn't know what to expect. The uh, cart definitely kind of pushed me down a little bit. I was a little bit worried at some points, but it was okay. We're, we're not having any troubles here, except for, well, maybe definitely this. <laughs> That's a problem. <laughs> but it's okay. The cart survived, and even though this gray dwarf tries to throw rocks at it, I just splatter it with one, with one hit of the frost waffle. And... We've got the cardigan. We can cardigan, cardigan. We've got the cardigan, <laughs> not a cardigan. We have the cardigan, and we can just—I mean—kill some more gray dwarfs because they're just—they're just always a nuisance. And this troll, this troll wasn't aggroed onto me. It didn't notice, but I figured it's probably best to attack it on my terms and not have it attack me randomly when it just happens to hear the cart hit a random bush. So I break out the ad gear, and we can—we can handle the troll. It shouldn't be any trouble whatsoever, right? Of course not. Trolls do not like pierce damage, and with very few swipes, this thing is dead. And it just kind of kind of lingers there. Just just stays. And then it pops. <laughs> I thought that was pretty fun. It just it took a while to pop right there, and that was kind of cool. But look at that. We've got all of our silver 
at the boat now. And that was a very successful mission. We don't need a massive amount of silver. We're not gonna we're not gonna use it for that many different things. So I mean I just I slowly transfer it all over, doing like one one kind of almost a whole stack at once, just twenty at once really. And after a you know little forward roll into the boat like an idiot, I uh, I've transferred everything. And now we can break the cart, we can bring the resources on the boat, and look at that. We've got everything onto Le Boat. We're good. We can we can take the boat out and head home, but we're we're kind of beached. We're definitely kind of beached. What are we gonna do? We're gonna push the boat out to sea a little bit, and we're good to go. We can slowly beep 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 our way out. Yep, this is fine. Everything's fine. No troubles, even though it's raining and kind of storming. It's okay. And yep, the the troll is still there on our way back. We, of course, get a little bit closer and we check on the troll. Yeah, yeah you're still having an inner monologue of, you know, craziness. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe one day we'll visit that troll and see if we can help it out. But if you remember this little section right here, there is a rock that kind of prevents me from really taking the boat. So I'm going to jump on this rock right here and we're going to mine it. We're going to see if we can remove this random obstacle. I think this is definitely a good idea because I just, I don't know why, but I really enjoy taking the boat and kind of going through the, between these two islands right here. I don't know. I think maybe I should make a lighthouse on this island. Island, I think that'd be pretty cool. But of course, I, I'm not the best builder and this is, <laughs> I'm more of a function over fashion kind of guy, but a lighthouse on that little island would be pretty cool. I think it would at least. But we're back home and we're going to beach the boat <laughs> completely, apparently. I did not mean to go that hard, but look at that. We are fully on the shore almost. And I guess at least gives us an option to grab everything from the shore. And okay, well, we can't grab everything all right, we'll grab those later. We have all the silver. We can slowly make our way toward the chest. Will he may of yeah, it's there's no problem whatsoever. I, I was way too close and I have way too much stamina now. There's no trouble whatsoever. And we're going to get these smelters going because we need to smelt all this stuff down and make some actual silver bars. But we have the materials. We might as well make a third smelter. So that's exactly what we do. And I have this idea for what we can do for the charcoal kilns, uh, the charcoal thingies. Um, let's let's do this. Let's do this. Well, we're going to pop it up here and we're we're gonna see what this looks like. I think this has potential to be a pretty cool idea. I'll have to make like a ramp or some sort of little platform down here. But yeah, I think this is a good spot to have these charcoal kilns kind of out of the way, but they're still spewing charcoal in the proper location. So I eventually do put the other one up there as well. But now we have the materials to make the wolf chest. And I think this looks pretty cool. I still think the iron armor looks a little bit cooler, but I do like it. And we fully upgraded it. We have have more than enough materials might as well and oh yeah it looks good it's yeah fantastic upgrade and we might as well update the little stand right here no longer bronze we'll put the iron stuff right there and as you saw we made the draugr fang and we're going to upgrade it as much as we can i think level two is as max as we can get it for now but this looks pretty fantastic it's definitely a nice worthy upgrade and we're going to display the fine wood bow right there because it just makes sense but that's pretty much it thank you so much for joining me on this episode I hope you're still having fun on this series. Please don't forget to like, subscribe if you feel like it. And if you really want to, you can press the little join button down below the video and that will give you instant access to the Waffle Iron Valheim server that I've created. And we're having a lot of fun on that server. So if you want to join, that's how you do it. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.